Hello everyone, I am Erica. Welcome to the Nerd Journals, where I create evidence of my meager existence. Today I thought it would be fun to prep a couple journal pages with you guys. I haven't prepped journal pages in a while. Recently it's been like, okay, if I get to a page and it's not decorated, we're just gonna write, and that's completely fine. But I wanna go ahead and get a couple pages ready. So I won't have blank pages in the next couple days. I have all sorts of stuff around me. So we're going to be pulling from a bit of everywhere. I have stickers, I have washi, scrapbook paper, harvested magazines, um, paint. We're, we're just going to have fun and see what happens. I've been really wanting to use some of this beautiful paper that um, the journaling tourist gave me recently. What are we gonna use? We could use both. Do I wanna get into both right now or do I just wanna start with one? Let's just start with one. We'll see what happens. Now with scrapbook paper, it's one of those things where it's kind of boring to use. You can just block off a page. You can use it for a background. You can make journal cards with them. All sorts of fun stuff, but I like to tear my scrapbook paper and make page corners. It's usually my favorite go-to thing to do with a piece of scrapbook paper. And that's okay, we're allowed to have our go-to styles. And if we really want, we could branch out and try something different too, but not right now, people. We're doing old reliable. Still a ton of that paper left to play with another day. That's pretty. What else do we have? I saw something sparkly. I still have these close from Christmas. I don't think that goes well together. Let's see. Maybe I'll have to find something different. Would that be too much? Yeah, I feel like that'd be good. Like glitter pages I like, caught out of a magazine recently. Meh. Let's just go ahead and um, glue this down. And maybe we'll look at stickers instead. Just a little glue around the borders. Have I talked to you lately about using this um, white glue instead of the glue sticks? I'm not sure if I mentioned that on the channel. My friend and yours over on Instagram, paperlover123, Mama J, she told me she's been using white glue lately and to give it a shot. Give it another try, Erica. It might surprise you. So, had one kick it around, gave it a try. I've uh, been using it ever since. A little further down than I thought. It's right down to there. Now I had used this before. I didn't just use all this in the last couple weeks, but I did use about that much in the last couple weeks since that hot tip from Mama J came in. Now I have a whole bunch of them. Oops. <laughs> Yikes! Kind of ripped that up. Did you guys see that? Um. Now I have a whole bunch of glue sticks kicking around, so I'm still going to use all of those. But, I'm also going to use this from time to time. And I just learned to be very careful because you can use too much white glue and just tear it apart. Don't do what I did. Don't do what the nerd journal does because she fucks shit up. Alright, stickers. I have tons of fun stickers now. Um, I was running low on stickers and then I had been gifted so many around the same time and now I feel like more I have more stickers than I know what to do with. Uh, I do remember seeing this really pretty sheet right here. Let's talk about that. I've got these um, Tim Holtz sayings when I was given. So maybe we could do something with that and maybe I can cover up that little moon I uh, got a little overexcited with. Maybe we could put this there. It says, um, space is the breath of art. Frank Lloyd Wright. Yeah, did I say that right? 
Frank Lloyd Wright. Yes, I did say that right. Um, if I could peel it up, I would love to stick it down. Yep, there we are. And let's just go right over that. Well, there's one problem solved. Easy peasy. Let's use more of these rose gold stickers here. I want to do the shooting stars one. Kind of right down here on the bottom, I think would be okay. And let's just do a couple more for fun. How about we use the moth? Ooh. Sorry about that. I'm gonna put the moth. Do you wanna kinda keep the stickers on the bottom half of the page? Let's do that. That's beautiful. And I'm gonna do one more right here. How about Man, I'm having like uh, decision paralysis right now. Let's go with the sun. There, I just chose the first one I looked at. Took a deep breath, chose, there we are. And we wanna do a strip of washi. I have so many washies that would look nice on this page. Okay, here's a couple I just grabbed right off the top that just all feel like it would be wonderful. And I think I'm gonna go with the solid pink and we're just gonna put a strip of this right across the top. Ooh, I forgot about those Tim Holtz stickers too. Let's take a look at those. So I think instead of going straight across the spine, I'm gonna rip it in two. This washi is a little less opaque than I thought it was gonna be. Let's see if we could do something. This it says shine bright, I think. I don't even remember owning this one. This one must have been given to me. Why not? I can't see of a better time to use this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and rip a couple shine brights off. And I'm gonna put it right down the center. That way you can't see the months. I mean it didn't really matter, but I guess it's just a good excuse to use this washi too. It doesn't matter either way, but this is what I went with. <laughs> Shine bright. All right, so we're just, what, 10 minutes in? We got a page done. Pretty, okay, this will be the next page I write on because I just finished up the page behind here yesterday. And start another spread. Oh, yep. No, I keep forgetting these. Let's go back. I think I'm gonna use one of these. I really like. Where did it go? Oh no. Where did it go? Here. If not us, who? I like that. Right there in that little bit of open space. I am quite pleased. All right. What are we gonna do on the next spread? All right, this time I grabbed a few painted papers. Um, I'm still kind of feeling that purple pink vibe. You can see I kind of used the purple pink vibe on the page before as well. So let's just keep going with that. If that's what I'm feeling, that's what we should use. In the name of not doing the same thing over and over, maybe I should just cut strips of this and use it like washi tape. But in reality, if I do that, I'm still just using it as borders or corners. It's not that different. I have an idea. Hold on, I get something. I tend to forget I have this raindropper punch, and I rarely ever use it. I love using raindrop shapes in my art, so why not just punch a few out of painted paper and glue them down? See how we like that. And I don't have to go with it if I don't like it after I punch them out. We'll see. Here where it's a little more messy. God, this is almost a little too big for my hand. All right, there's a few. Miscut. 
What about like having raindrops just on the top of my page? That's kind of cute. Cutie. Of course, down the side we can have, oh, we're gonna need some more. I thought I was done, but we're gonna need some more. I could even just do like one side and just have a bunch over here, but either way, I'm still gonna need some more, I think. Let's do a couple more. I can always use them later, right? Um, uh, I like right here, it's a little more watercolory than it is acrylic painty. Let's try two more. Well, that's just cute as shit. My God, my neighbor loves to slam her fucking door. <laughs> There, that's cutie. And you know what? I want to use that same pink tape. It's not too much. I can use it again. Yeah, I think this is perfect. I love it. Let's go. <clears throat> I'll try not to use as much glue this time and like melt the fucking paper. See, I got a little carried away there. I'm gonna. Finger. And I'm just gonna put it down on this one instead. But it will need just a little bit more glue. I feel like this is a really good place in the um, process to mention to you. I do post this sort of content often. And if you like what you're seeing, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to see what I show next. You never know what it's going to be. It's usually along the lines of this. Um, I do a lot of art journaling. I do glue booking. I do just plain journaling with a pen and paper. All sorts of memory keeping and artwork involving paper, acrylic, collage. If you take a look around my channel, you'll see what I'm talking about. So yeah, please subscribe if you're new here. I'd really appreciate it. Um, if you do like my content more than just watching it, I would love if you check out my Patreon. You can get early access to my videos and voting rights for only $2 a month. Voting rights? What are you talking about? Voting for president? No, dummy. Um, you get to vote for my next journal. You get to vote for the next journal I flip through, all sorts of little things like that related to what I'm doing with my channel and my artwork. Um, and you'll get exclusive posts and videos if you're on the higher tier. Um, the higher tier starts at $5. But if you wanna be like absurd with it and you really want to support me my top tier is $16 a month and you get uh, some fun stuff with that so definitely check out my patreon um, by joining my patreon and subscribing with cash you are supporting me as a full-time artist and content creator and retail is not working for me anymore and I don't know if I can keep doing it so thank you for anyone who buys my art, subscribes to my Patreon, or shares and likes my shit. Thank you so much for being here. I like the previous page so much, we're just gonna copy it. <laughs> we're just gonna copy it, because I'm going straight down the side with a strip of this pink washi. Just a boop right there. I love it. And I'm just gonna take more of this Shine bright, shine bright, shine. Shine. It's going to go right down the middle again. You know what? If it looks that good and you're loving it, why not just keep rolling with it? That's perfect. And this is probably all I need for this page, but I am going to take a quick little look and see what I find in my stickers. Kind of like a couple of the crystals and jimmies on that page. Oh, I have more. Hmm, I don't know if I'm going to use this. I kind of like these gray dots, but are they necessary? It doesn't matter if they're necessary. Let's take a look for a second. I really feel in my heart that this is all this page needs. 
I'm really happy with it, how it looks, but I just have to wait a little bit for this glue to dry and then I can do another page. I think while I'm still kind of feeding off the previous page, um, on the previous page I had if not us, who? I think on this page we're gonna go if not now, when? And then I'll just tie these two pages together nicely. Ooh, I almost should have pulled out the um, X-Acto knife for that. But I was feeling brave and I won. Ooh, baby. There. I really, really like this. I kind of flipped through a magazine off screen for a minute or two, and I found this giraffe. Uh, apparently this trap was built from uh, snares, snares and traps to um, trap wild animals. And I think this is really neat. I love when people make art out of non-traditional art materials. It's amazing. People are so creative and clever. So I'm gonna try to use this guy in my journal. Doesn't really fit with the last couple pages we've been vibing with, but that's all right if every page is different or if every page is all the same and it doesn't matter if some are the same and some are different just whatever I'm vibing with it's my journal I'm allowed to do whatever I want in my journal I get asked a lot a lot by people if it's okay to put X or Y in their journal I'm like homie it's your journal if you could fucking nail it in there go for it I say <laughs> Oops, I want to, maybe a little trim around here is those little spiky hairs on his back. Trim around his ear. Okay, that's a little better. It looked half-assed without that being cut out. It was a little big for my journal, so I'm gonna have to trim him down a bit. How do I wanna fit him in here? I feel like this might be good. So when I'm trying to like fit something into my journal, I just fold the edges down of where I want it to fit and then it just kind of gives me those light lines I can cut on. It's not perfect, but it's quick and easy and that's what I like best about journaling is it can be quick and easy. Just don't be extra and it'll be fine. Cool. But I do want to put something there. What about this? What about this pen paper I have here? Um, as you can see, this is just on the life cover turn security envelope that you get from like credit card companies and banks and shit. It's a, a nice background to work on, so I like to paint on these often. It's got like a starter pattern. You can just put what you want on top. Rip off that extra. That's way more than I need. How about that? I could even leave this right here just for a little fun. I mean, I could trim it off, but I don't think I want to. Yeah, I think this would make a cool journal page. Why not? Oops. <laughs> I guess I closed the lid. Mm, I think when that glue dries there, I will trim it down a little bit because that's a little more excessive than I wanted it. That's a cool fucking giraffe. I was looking for some words to include on this spread and I found the word upcycling. <laughs> Isn't that perfect? This giraffe was literally upcycled and here we are. No, I do want it sideways. I kind of chickened out, but I want it sideways. Or not sideways, but like diagonal of going down with his neck. That's cute. All right, I made three whole spreads with you today. I feel like I can do one more. I have the time, but I just don't know if anyone's gonna watch this far. Um, oh, why the hell not? Even if just one person hangs out with me and watches, it's, it's worth it. Hello, one person. We're gonna do one more spread.
Oops, I forgot I'm recording a video and I'm supposed to be talking. Um, I found these beautiful ballerina legs. This is obviously from my dance magazine that I get come in the mail. I am not a dancer, but I can appreciate what some people can do with their bodies. It's amazing. I've always had an affinity for pretty little ballerinas since I was a little girl. I never had the opportunity to do anything like take dance classes when I was little. Honestly, I probably wouldn't have been good at it anyway. I don't have dexterity or control or rhythm or I'm not even really that good with music. So as much as I love a pretty ballerina, it's never going to be me and it's never meant to be. Um, I feel like everything I have been doing has been kind of pulling to the right. So let's put this on the left hand side. I'm going to trim this a little bit better. I don't want to be all fussy cutting like with my X-Acto knife on here if I don't have to, but I gotta do at least a little better with scissors if I'm not gonna exacto. That's better. So I saw a cool picture earlier of a stack of cards already fussy cut out. And I thought that would be fun to work with. And I went, no, no, I'm not quite in the mood. But now I feel like it would be the perfect size just to go right there. To make it look like the ballerina is dancing on cars stacked on top of each other. But I bet now I'll never find that picture in my paper drawer again. Ooh, I wish I just pulled it when I saw it. It was literally the same look of when I was pulling out the legs that I saw the cars. And I just. Uh, what about this? Cards are a little bigger than I thought, but I think this is still fun. That's just a little silly. It's a little absurd. I like this sort of collage. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, I think. First of all, I'm going to start by making a straight line so I can glue this on the bottom edge here. While I'm working on gluing this page. Uh, you guys read anything good lately? I've had a rough start with books this year. Um, we're a month into 2024. By the time you guys see this, we're pretty close to a month in 2024 by the time, at the time I'm recording. And I've completed one book and I didn't really like it. It was uh, In My Dreams I Hold a Knife. Didn't really like it. I've started and stopped two or three books because I didn't like them. But I finally am reading a book I like in 2024 and it's called Almond. I don't remember the name of the author off the top of my head and I can't look it up because I'm filming with my phone and that's all I have available as a device right now. Um, I do know it's translated from uh, South Korean though, so it's a South Korean author. And it's about a boy and his amygdala is um, smaller than normal. Because of it, he can't feel emotions. And it's a really, um, oddly enough, it's a very emotional book. It's really sweet so far. I do like it. I'm about halfway through. Um, it's a quick read. I just started it a day or two ago, but it's just one of those books you fly through. It's uh, really good so far. Um, at this point, I can say I would recommend it, but you know, I don't know the ending yet. So literally anything could happen and I could hate it. <clears throat> I feel like I want a little bit of pink on this page too. Ballerinas in pink. I wonder if I could like 
I wish I had some pink fabric. Do I have pink fabric? I have pink mesh fabric. I think it's called tulle. Um, <laughs> let's try something crazy and see what happens. I bought this at the Dollar Tree, if you guys are wondering. It's, uh, it was a good buy. My Dollar Tree has really upped its game with um, its craft items. Off. I guess I should do it this way. It would make more sense, right? So I can like, see what I'm doing. And this one. I just drop my tool and cut off. Sloppy cutter. That's okay. Cut some of the page. No big deal. Um, I want to try to pleat this. So like. I would fold it over on itself, I guess. That's what pleats are, right? Ooh, it's way too short to pleat, though. I guess I probably should have doubled the length to pleat it, but that's okay. We can fold it over, make it look a little thicker instead. Oh, that's cute. And I think the best way to deal with this is to staple it. So let's try stapling here. How much of this giraffe am I going to staple over? It'll be fine. Okay, so I kind of have that where I want it. Ooh, is it working? Oh, it's holding it. I wasn't sure if it was going to. Oh, that is so cute. Should I, should I staple it down here as well? Maybe run a little line of glue just to keep it down a little. Hmm. Let's just try putting a dot of glue. If it doesn't work, that's okay. Hopefully that glue will dry and keep the little skirt from sticking up too much. Well, this is... Oh, no, it's not working. Oh, well, at least now we know. Hmm, maybe I do want another staple in it. I just want to bring the stapler down here to hold it. Where would that be on our giraffe? Oh, right on the stupid face. Oh, well. Let's try to bring it over a little bit more. Oh no, did I run out of staples? Did not run out of staples, it just got stuck. All right. Let's try again. There, that's much better. Sorry I'm to my little um, page on this side, but it's, it's, it's fine. I do want to take a little tape, however, because I will not like feeling these and I want to cover those up. And I'll just put a little, little speck of tape over that one too. Okay, so we did four pages together. Thank you for anyone who did that fourth page with me especially. Um, I think this is really cute. I feel like this page needs a little bit more. Maybe we should not be done just yet. No, no, I think if I add anything, it's gonna take away to how cute this little ballerina skirt is. Um, and I don't wanna take away from how cute that is. So I'm gonna leave this, this, this is done. Thank you so much for anyone who hung out with me and worked on these pages. I really enjoyed my time sitting here talking to you. It's been real guys. Thank you so much. Bye.